Hey, it's Dorlene, and today I'm working in a art journal. This is my daughter's journal. It's actually a little book that she bought that I want to say in the front, it says something like wreck this journal or, or something like that. And she is like 99.5% done with it. And she had this one page and she just said, mom, do, you know, basically do something destructive to it. And originally when I think the word destructive, I'm thinking, you know, like you're ripping it, you're tearing it, you're you're destroying it. And I obviously didn't want to do that because she has art on both sides of those pages. And um, on the left side, she has a picture of Bambi, which she hand drew. And she said, I only have one request, don't ruin the Bambi. So I thought that was kind of funny. So I was really careful on that left side, especially in that middle section. But how I distracted it, um, and I'm using air quotes, I did use my, um, not shred, is it shred? Scissors. Um, up there on the top so you can see all those fringes, fringe, fringe scissors, that's the word I was thinking of. I did that, so I thought, okay, in a sense, it wrecked it. Um, and then in that middle, kind of lower right, I used, um, I, put, I added a little bit of water, just wet the paper, and then I used a fingernail file and scraped it. It didn't go all the way through, but it just roughed it up roughed it up enough to well, look like it was distracted. And then I just kind of scribbled everywhere and... Um, use some old product that didn't stick. You can see that word. I think it says awesome. They're like kind of like rub-ons, but they're so old they didn't even work. So I was kind of nice because I just threw them away instead, instead of held onto them. But, and then I gave it to her and she said, mom, no, that's, I mean, thanks, but really I see you work in a junk journal or, you know, an art journal. Just, just make art. Like that in her mind was distract so she had a different version of destructive than I did but anyhow so that that point I was like okay um so I pulled out my gelatos and you saw me just you know rubbing the colors here and there and um using my finger to uh, blend those colors into the page and also with it to each other I like to add a little bit of water to my fingers when I'm rubbing it because it uh, it almost turns it into a watercolor but a thicker base and gelatos and even like these um the crayons that they use, you know, I have some Tim Holtz ones, which I don't think that's what I use here. I think I just use Illustrated Faith. They had some that I bought. Um, and then the gelatos, but it's such a smooth finish or smooth feeling, um, product. And so if you add a little bit of water, it just, it just, um, blends a little bit easier, I guess is the right word to use. And so that's what I did. And every color that I used on the right side, I used it on the left side as well. I wanted both sides to coordinate, even though they look so different from each other, uh, mostly because of that big black circle in the middle of the right hand one. And I really did decide to concentrate um, about around that and kind of adding colors around that circle. Um, that wasn't what I had intended to do. Matter of fact, I wasn't really sure what I was intending on doing besides distracting it, right? But um, I, I just like the way that looked. I like this dark blue here, which um, it almost, um, I can't even, competes. Well, sorry, tongue tied. It, it almost distracts from the lighter colors that I'm doing, but at the same time, it's still like a bright blue, so it looks okay. And the fact that I really tried to rub them into each other, so it wasn't just a like a block blue, block yellow. You know, like you get you get a little bit of that green um, color combination. You know, when you combine a blue and a yellow, so I really like that. And I just, um, like I said, I didn't really have anything specific in mind, really just adding colors and, and hoping that it, you know, it looks good by the time I'm done. I do, like I said, the gelatos right now, I'm going to add some white acrylic paint and that also helps blend the colors together by just doing a very light wash of white. And I add a little bit of water to the paint too, because when you don't, it just is like almost too thick, especially for something like this. Um, cause, and I didn't want that look. There are plenty of times when I just use white paint or acrylic paint without water. But in this case, I wanted it to be more of a blending color than, um, an opaque one, if that makes sense. I'm using a gray gelato to kind of highlight some of those pencil scribbles that I did. And again, just using my finger with some water to, to spread those out. And I love that it looks like a little shadow effect. And just, 
adds a lot of interest. I don't think I put any of that gray on the right side, which is okay because that was just kind of these smoke, if you want to call it that, uh, looking designs. But um, I'm just, you know, filling it in, trying to make everything look like it belongs together without actually, you know, with, with not standing too far out. Oh, there's her Bambi. Isn't that cute? So my daughter, like I said, she's wrecking this book, but every page that she's done it's been like a certain theme. A lot of them, um, Disney, other kind of pop culture, like just different TV shows and movies that she enjoys. And she always says she's not an artist or she doesn't know how to draw or she doesn't know how to do these things. But she, everything she does is amazing. So um, I don't know what she thinks. But I guess that's how, like most of us are, we compare ourselves to these professionals we see and you know, of course we don't, we don't measure it. So this little thingy that I'm using right now, I don't even know where I got it, but it's leaving the coolest texture on these pages. That was the first time I've used it and I really like it. And if you do too, give me a thumbs up <laughs> and also give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing so far. Um, I'm like I said, I'm really just having fun, adding some bright colors, uh, lots of different media, acrylic paint, I think I use a paint pen if I haven't done it already. I used a, like a grease pencil, the gelatos, the um, the crayons, the water-based crayons. Uh, what else am I using here? Oh, the pencil. I think at one point I even use a black marker. And, um, oh, there's here's a metallic gold, which, you know, <laughs> that's another thing that I ended up throwing away because you can tell there's really nothing on there. At one point I even tried to, like, wet it a little bit and so I did get a little bit of color but that's fine I was really looking for like a shadowing which is really what it did but after this I put the lid on and I just tossed it so here's the black um uniball pen that I did just little designs here and there nothing super fancy or, or anything like that but um again I just love it and I just signed it mom because it's her book so I'm I'm mom right but I hope you like this and if you do give me a thumbs up and if you're not already hit that subscribe button down below and I promise you I will have at least two videos a week or at least that's my goal for the 2022 so I hope you stick around and try to watch them one will definitely be on scrapbooking and the other will be this type of thing mixed media um, or any other thing that I'm doing in my command center which is the name of my craft room and my blog thanks a lot bye